Hi folks, so the questions we have in front of us today guys are from the topic of triangles, okay? And what it is specifically is triangle construction. So there are various ways to construct triangles guys and we've gone through some of them previously and these are just some more examples of uh, questions that can come up on short answer questions. So the type of question you will be given is construct a triangle that has a baseline of a certain length, an altitude, okay, an altitude being a height of a certain height, and then one side length of a certain length again, okay? So in this question here, top left, we can see that we have a baseline that has 90 millimeters, we have an altitude of a triangle that is 70 millimeters high, and we have one side length that is 75, okay? So to be able to do that, it is very, very simple construction, okay? So first of all, first of all, first of all, sorry, we'll start off by constructing our baseline, okay? So we'll start there by constructing the baseline, and I know that baseline is to be 90 millimeters long. So I'm going to measure 90 millimeters there along that line. Zero, nine. Okay. Having done that, I'm just going to heavy in the bit that's important to me. So there's my baseline, 90 millimeters. Okay. Let's mark it there. Baseline, 90. Okay, so I can take off that one. I know I've used that. Now, next one is we have an altitude and the overall height of it, okay, from the baseline up to the top of it, okay, is 70 millimeters high. Therefore, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to construct a line that is 70 millimeters above it. Okay, so measuring up above it, 70 millimeters, there's my 70, and I'm going to construct a parallel line with the baseline. Okay, that is construction line. But what you should note is that the height of that line from the baseline is 70 millimeters high. So I'll just put that in there now, just to give you a little guide. You don't have to do this, okay? But just showing you that the height from there up to there is 70. Okay? Now, the next part, okay, we've used the second part there. And the last part on this question says, is we have a side length, okay, of 75 millimeters. Remember now, it said triangle ABC. So let's say we have the base, which is called AB. Now we want to find C. So a side length of 75. So using your compass, okay, and your set square, set 75 on the compass. Okay, you can see it there, 75 millimeters. All right, between the seven and the eight. And then from either A or B, it doesn't matter I'm going to swing an arc. I'm going to do it from B in this case. So from B, I'm going to swing an arc, and that arc is 75 millimeters away from B. Therefore, where it cuts the altitude height line, I have now got a line there that is 75 millimeters long, okay? And that has helped me locate C. Having found C, I can now connect C back to A, okay? Nice and easy, guys given a baseline, an altitude, and a side length of 75. I'll write that in there, 75. Okay, and there we have it, okay? That is how you construct a triangle, given the baseline, a height, and, an al and a side length. Okay, or an altitude, I should say. So, just practicing that one again. Uh, we have another one here, baseline 60 millimeters. So we'll start that again. This time, I'm going to go a little bit quicker. So 60 millimeters. So 30, 44, there you go. There's my baseline, and I'm gonna call that A, B. Okay, 60 millimeters, that's done. I now have an altitude of 68 as well. So put in that height, 68. There's my 68. Parallel line, okay, that is my altitude line. I'll just write that in. Okay, that's my altitude line, 68 millimeters. And now I have a side length of 76. So the last time I had a side length of 75, this time I have a side length of 76. So get that on your set square. 76, and this time I'm going to do it for me. So 
So from A, that arc there is 76 millimeters away from A, where it cuts through my altitude line, I have now found the top of my triangle. So there is C at the top, and I can connect up B. Okay, nice and easy. That is the second one done. Okay, just going to move this down here now, guys, so we can see it there at the bottom of the page. And the next one we have is we have a baseline of 80 millimeters, an altitude of 50, and a side length of 70. Okay, so baseline of 80 millimeters. I'll put that in. 24, 16, just using my T square to help me with the measurements here. So here's my baseline, 80 millimeters. Call that A, call that B, and I can take that off. Now I have an altitude of 50. So from my baseline, I'm going to put in my altitude line, measure up above it 50 millimeters. Okay, there is my altitude line. You don't have to write these, this is just for explanation purposes. Altitude line was 50 millimeters high. And now, last one, I have a side length this time of 70. So using your set square again, and then to 70 this time. There we go. And this time I go from B. And there we have it. Okay, you can see where that little arc cut through. That there, sorry, is my C. Okay, and that C there, connect that to B. And same again to A. And there we have it. That is a triangle ABC with a side length of 70 an altitude of 50 and a baseline of 80. I've got to take that one up there. Okay. And now finally, guys, we have the last question here. It says a baseline of 75, an altitude of 60, and a side length of 106. Okay. So in this one now, uh, baseline 75. So 75 times 6. I'll do it in the middle, actually. Just working on my maths here. There's my baseline of 75. Just check that to be sure. Yep, yeah. okay. So there's my A and there's my B. And that is my 75 baseline. Take that off. Altitude, 60 millimeters high. So mark above it. Mark above your baseline, 60 millimeters. I'm going to do this altitude line a little bit further away and you'll see why in a second. So there is my altitude line which was at 60 and finally I have a side length of 106. So using your compass and your set square this time get 106. So just above the 105, one mark above it. There we have it. And this time I'm going to do it from A. And from A, swing an arc there, and you can see where the arc has cut through my altitude line. I have now found point C, connect C back to A. That's actually my side length of 106, and connect it down to B. And there I have it, there's my triangle, okay? Uh, baseline 75, altitude at 60, side length 106, and I can take that off. Okay, that is literally just another method, guys, to, uh, for triangle constructions uh, when you're given a baseline, a side length, and an altitude. The other ones we have done are the, when we're given the baseline, maybe, and the base angles, and also when we're given the two side lengths, okay? That is one when we're given an altitude and how we do it, okay? So always when you're given an altitude, put in the altitude line, okay? And somewhere along that line is going to be the top of your triangle, okay? Hope you found that helpful, guys. That is the questions complete there.